play a better second half like we did last. Um, we didn't do last um, week. Um, we were able to um, see what they were doing and um, get some quick th um, three and outs to help our offense. Um, but yeah. Um, I mean, I think they were able to. How many, how many rushes does they have? I don't know, but um, we were able to contain um, some of it, but we're, we got we to be able to um, contain it and um, be able to stop the run. Yeah. I think the biggest thing was get get out of um we gotta get off the field on third down. Um obviously a, a running quarterback, so um just be able to contain him and um change up the some of the um looks up front um to be able to do that and um just get off the field. So we're also bringing Darius Taylor up here. Playmakers making plays, and we gotta um, do that to the, in the entire game, not just the second half. So um, we'll be better, and um, can't wait for next week. Um, he's just he's a running back at quarterback, so. Um, I think that just our poise and understanding that we just had to do our jobs was the biggest thing. And, um, I mean, you see we were executing at a high level, and that's that's really the key to our offense. We just have to execute. Uh, I had like 55 people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I knew that Max would throw the check down if it was there. So, I mean, there was never a number set in my head or even thinking about numbers. It was really just when the check down was there, he's going to throw it, and it's my job to make guys miss and, and make a play afterwards. You got Ethan Robinson as well. Ethan, when you're answering the huge job, Mike, Yeah, I mean, it was a crucial moment. We knew most of the game they were going to try to keep it on the ground. So we knew every opportunity we had to go make a play on the ball in the air, it would be game changing. So um, I just saw it up in the air, saw they were trying to throw that seam route uh, to their tight end. So I just sped turn over the top and went to go make a play. keep fighting. It's a team game at the end of it. So we just got to keep everybody on the same page. And I feel like we really did that in the second half. And that's how we ended up in the position we were in to go win the game towards the end. It's just, you know, you got to keep pounding into people's heads that we're a team, we're one unit, and it's a mentality that we're going to fight no matter what. He was real proud of us for what we did. Um, obviously, it sucks to lose. Uh, it's never a great feeling at all. I mean, it's, it's not acceptable, but we had a lot of fight, and he wanted to definitely relate that to the team and what we were doing, and he was very proud of what we did today. Um, I mean, I don't really have a comment on that one. Um, I think that um, it just kept the defense on their heels. Um, it slowed them down in, in the rush. And I think that pass pro was the biggest thing, just stand in protection, uh, make sure that me personally just doing my job in protection, make sure my eyes are good. And, and the O-line, they held up great. Um, they did a great job in that fast pace, You know, fast pace offense, they get tired, but they held their own. They did a great job and, and stayed on course. I mean, I feel we just got to keep putting complete games together. We're very talented. We're a very talented group. We're a very connected group. We're, we're very together. Everybody loves each other on the team, and they respect what we do each and every day. And you never see us putting blame on each other. Uh, we just got to keep putting full games together. And, I mean, 
it's natural with almost everybody. As the season goes on, it's going to be highs and lows, but we just got to keep, make, uh, keep making sure that we trend upwards, and that's what we're looking forward to the rest of the year. Keep your eyes, DBs, everybody's eyes got to be in the right spot. Key your, uh, make sure you key your, your reads, do your job. And at the end of it, just when you do your job and you're not trying to worry about covering for other people and you trust your teammates like we trust each other on defense, everything just plays out the way it's supposed to. Uh, I think that he did a great job. Um, we talked about it all week. Um, game changing plays on, on special teams. That's that's something that we're trying to striving to do every week. Um, and he did a great job of it. And that, that really sprung our offense. Um, gave us a lot of energy, sprung our offense, and we kept it rolling. Uh, great call by the um, D coordinator. Um, it was great to um, finally get a sack. But, uh, <laughs> um, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that we were just executing on on a high level. Uh, that was the biggest thing. In the first half, we weren't necessarily as a as an offense executing at the highest level. Um, so that's something we talked about at halftime, and we came out second half knowing that we needed to execute, and I feel like we did on those drives. I think they're doing a great job. Um, I mean, we came into our, we're coming into our own. Uh, they're they're handling things well up front. I mean, you know, there's highs and lows to everything, every position. So, I mean, there's been some moments where things could have not gone the right direction. But, I mean, I feel like they're doing a great job. I mean, it's also on me in the run game to, to I mean, make plays. Um, it's not just all on them. And in the past game, you're doing a great job. Yeah, I think um, the number one thing was um, our energy at halftime. I think we talked about last week where you know we had we had been slow the past couple of second second halves, and um, I thought our team did an amazing job in the locker room uh, of kind of rallying the troops. And you know we were down uh, by a few scores, and that didn't stop us from from creating that energy in the locker room and coming out hot. Um, you know I think both sides of the ball play exceptionally well um, in the second half, and I think that's what you know drives the team and drives the offense. Um, and then I just. You know, hats off to, to Coach Harbo and his offensive staff of, um, you know, looking at something different and um, trying to find new new ways to get the ball down the field and, and move the ball down the field. And he did a great job of that. And um, our job is to execute what the play is called. And I think we did a good job of that in the, ex- in the second half. Yeah, it's difficult. Um, I think for us, the number one thing is control what you can control. Um, and for us, we can control how we respond. Um, and, you know, we were ready to go on offense. Everyone was, was ready to go with a, with a calm mind and um, ready to execute. Um, and ultimately, our number wasn't called. Um, that happens in football. That's what happens in football sometimes. And you just have to, you know, play what you can and control what you control. control. Yeah, I didn't realize how, uh, how athletic of a catch that was. Um, I, I got to watch it again. Um, you know, on the sideline, um, and a couple of guys had it on, you know, on their phones and stuff. It's pretty cool, um, you know, having guys around the whole, the whole offense that can make plays like that. Um, that's everyone on the team. Now, all the the receiving core, you know, we have a really talented, skillful group in that, in that receiving core, and um, to be able to depend on guys to make those catches and, and big moments like that, um, it's it's it means the world for the quarterback for sure. Yeah, um, I think it was we were kind of shooting ourselves in the foot a little bit. Um, sometimes the negative plays hurt us, and you know, getting back to to neutral is um, you know can be hard for an offense for sure. Um, and we have to do a good job of just staying on schedule. Um, I think that's what 
um, we'll continue to work on as an offense um, is staying on schedule and making sure that we're not trying to do too much at one time, but also making sure we make the routine plays. And um, that falls in on me as the quarterback. Um, and then also everyone, you know, individually throughout the team to create the collective unit as an offensive unit um, to execute those drives. But it all comes down to making the little, the little plays happen um, when they're needed to. Yeah, um, end of the half, had to get something going a little bit. Um, number one, Nick Callert made an extremely athletic catch. I, he, he's, uh, he wowed me for sure, and he, uh, that's, that's an amazing job by him, you know, tracking the ball in the air like that and making a play on the ground. Um, and also executing the bonsai with, with two seconds to go. Um, you know, that's, that's really hard for a special teams unit to do that, especially with you know, people kind of figure out you know, what we're going to do, if we're going to go for it, if we're going to kick it. And, um, the special teams unit was there, ready to go, and you know, Coach Blake had him going, and Dragon made a good kick. One or two more from that. You mentioned No, I think it was kind of just him formulating, you know, new thoughts, maybe try something different, and um, you know, I, I, it's kind of a halftime adjustment thing. He did an amazing job with that, um, adjusting a little bit, and you know, that's what you know, football is a is a back and forth game, um, and he did a good job of staying on top of that. Going to halftime and you know sticking to the plan, um, and sticking to the you know the players, and he did a great job with that. And you know ultimately we we trust what the play is called, and our jobs go executed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, I think it's probably what we expect a little bit. You know they have a very talented um, you know D line up front and a talented interior box. Um, probably one of the most talented in the country. And I think um, number one, you know, hats off to them. They're they're a extremely athletic bunch, um, fun to play against. Um, but I think, you know, for for the most part, for the overall of the game, I think the, you know, our, our line and our tight ends did an amazing job protecting up front. Um, you know, we got the ball if we needed to. We get, we popped runs when we needed to. Um, it's a matter of putting it all together. Um, you know, for us, it's a it's a game of, of four quarters, and um, you know, we're we're feeling what it's like to to play all those fourth quarters, and um, I can't wait to see where this team takes it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's always really hard when you when you look at. Um, oh, we have we could say we have a losing record, and it's it's true, it's valid, it's two and three record. And uh, but for for a mental game, you can't you can't keep looking at oh, we're two and three and two and three and two and three. Um, that just kills teams. Um, something that I'm really proud of my team uh, of doing is is continuing to respond. And um, this is the you know the first time I think we did a really good job as a team responding um, to to a game where we were down a lot at halftime, and that's. That's symbolic of the season two. Um, we're, we're down now, um, and we're going to respond. Um, we're going to get into the building on Sunday and attack the day um, and you know, realize that we're 0-0 we're now. It's, it's on to the new week. Um, you know, we're going to do our best to execute every single day uh, and get better and, and try to figure out little ways to get better because ultimately it's, it's the little things that we have to work on, um, and we're so close, and I know the team knows that. Um, and I can't wait to see how they attack this week. All right. Thank you guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks.